Hello everybody, it's BJW, and I want to welcome you to my first episode on the Swego Faults server. And uh, this is a great little whitelisted server that is run by uh, a really nice, friendly fellow by the name of Static Past. And uh, I feel really lucky that I was able to actually get onto the server, and I've actually had a really great time the last few weeks playing on it. Enough so, I thought it would be fun to add a Let's Play to uh, the two other ones that I have going on. Uh, that are on single player or my own server. So, um, yeah, I think maybe let's, on this first episode, we'll take a quick tour through Spawn and kind of the way that the server is set up. I think everybody would hopefully really enjoy that and get a chance to uh, check this really cool place out. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll probably head over to my base and show you around uh, some of the stuff I've been doing over there and a couple of really recent builds that I've got started. I've got a lot of projects going and I'll be happy to show you around a couple of them and uh, in one in particular I've got a farm that I'm gonna start pretty soon and I'll show you uh, where it's at but first let's start here at this is spawn when you come into Swego Fault this is where you will begin and um, if you're whitelisted you'll actually probably meet with Static or uh, Fi or Sam or a couple of other of the players who um, you know kind of mod this server and spend a lot of time on it there's a lot of really great people who spend time on here um, but before we get going too far check this out uh, swagofaults.net a forum uh, you get they've actually got a map which is really nice you can see all the builds you know at a really high level you can't really see them up close but um, from a pretty high level you can see them and of course if you want to actually get in touch with them especially for whitelist or anything like that definitely get in touch with them on server you can either go to swago faults or uh, you can also see static past is the the owner and talk to them as well and uh, yeah let's see what else we got here yeah this is a good uh, Shows you when it was started uh, back in May of last year, so it's actually just uh, almost up for on a year. It's been on this particular map, and there's a lot of stuff that's been built on it. So we'll get to show some some pretty cool stuff. Uh, it actually runs in the most current version, uh, so it's running on actually snapshots. Uh, so I think we're on 1.8.3. Is that true? Yes, we are. See in the upper left hand corner there. Um, hosted in Canada. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Canadians are cool. They have good beer. Anyway, um, so yeah, lots of different stuff going on here. And as you go through, uh, you'll come in, and we've actually got this great little uh, community building here. If you come in, I'll just show you really quick. If I get to the door, you get tons and tons of chests and lots of stuff. You can uh, you can grab food and. Uh, you know they got everything in here that you can get. You, you can get a little bit of if you really need it. Uh, you know, most people who come on here want to go get all their own gear and their own stuff. But when you first jump on, they'll bring you down here if you need to grab some food or something like that. In fact, I need to contribute uh, to this pretty soon too. And of course, the community uh, enchant station there. But uh, you got plenty of food you can grab while you're here. They've got. Uh, we'll head over here real fast. A little farm you can come in grab some food if you need it and we're actually expanding back in that direction a little bit so there's nothing over there right now but uh, a couple of community buildings a um, little windmill over there some te terraced uh, gardens yada yada then you've got uh, this is the portal that takes us to the main nether hub and I'll show you that in just a second but first let's head over here this is uh, I see they have got a name for this over here this is sort of the community building, another one. This is where a lot of people meet. They have uh, on Tuesday nights, um, everybody will meet on here on Mumble and whatnot and go check out um, some mini games somewhere. And so a lot of people will meet here when we have special events. This is where everybody meets. And of course, I have to bring you over here and uh, show you Mr. Uh, Devlin Doolittle, our friendly neighborhood, Magma Slime. Oh, ow. Man, look at that. Jeez. That wasn't cool, man. Let's get a little mutton. All right. Let's head back down here. So this is, uh, yeah, it's actually been a really great and fun server to build on. Um, man, there's so many great things around here that you have to go look at when you get on that it, it really could take you like a week just to see all the cool stuff that people have built. Um, yeah, it's a nice architecture in here. Uh, Oh, it's getting dark. So let's go ahead and actually head to the nether before it gets too dark. And then we can show you all the nether hubs. And maybe by the time we get done with that, we'll pop out the other side. 
And what is this? I gotta go see what this is. I'm not sure if I've been in here before. Oh, the post office. Ah. Look at this. You can leave stuff for people. Boy, look at. Man. Fi's got a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Uh, let's see here. I don't think I've actually got one of these. Should I pick one out now while I'm standing here? Outdoor Jeff, Mr. Squibbles. Who's not Mr. Squibbles anymore? He's bon appetit. Uh, yeah, how about box 18? Let's take that. Box 18. BJ. W. All right. Sweet. Oh, wait. Everybody else has theirs down, so I gotta do it too. Down one. Box 18. BJW. Sweet. Maybe somebody will leave me something there. Who knows? We'll see. All right. Anyway, it's dark. Let's get out of here. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're gonna head over here into the nub. <laughs> the nub, yeah, that's great. Um, we're heading into the nub, into the nether, uh, nether hub, as it were. And so this is the main uh, portal that heads into it. And so the way that this is set up is there is a main spawn area which we were just in, and then outside of the main spawn hub there are the four kind of cardinal directions. So let's see which one this one is. So that's north. Uh, of course, you can turn on your F3 screen and see that we're headed north. But uh, so that would be an east, west, and south. And so those are the four main hubs. And then you go down to the, the uh, uh, what would you call it, branch hubs. And off of that is where uh, most everyone is, has got their own. Let's see if I can find one over here. Their own branch that heads off to their base somewhere. And so this is Final Flames, uh, who is also a YouTuber. And so you could actually check out his channel. Um, but yeah, so everyone has their own or shared um, tunnel that heads off to their base somewhere. And um, I'm trying to think, would it be worth going and seeing any others right now? There probably would be, but first, let's go ahead and head down to mine. And so I'm off the east, which is the only one that's actually not named for its cardinal direction. This is the Mistwood subhub, and every single one of them has this uh, has a rail that you can take. All right, here we go. I think we're coming up on the uh, the skeleton spawner that we have uh, that was built for the west hub or the east hub. Sorry for Mistwood. There it is, right there. And uh, here we are at the hub. Oh, looks like uh, we've got a little. Uh, <laughs> there's supposed to be a rail here, but it looks like it must have been uh, bunked somehow. This is supposed to be stone right here. Someone did some damage and didn't fix it. Bad, bad. Uh, all right, so here we are at Mistwood, and uh, at each one of these hubs, you can go into the portal, and it takes you right into the kind of the center of the hub in the overworld. In fact, we'll run up here real quick and see what we see. Oh, hello, Mr. Pigme, Pigman Zombie. Ooh, wow, actually. Uh, someone's done a lot of work here. <laughs> this, is, this is quite different than it was last time that I was here. Um, and so at each of the main hubs, they have a building of some sort that... Uh, and, you know, I have the hardest time finding the door for this one. I don't know why it's over here on this side, but it is... I guess you could follow the path that might actually make sense, but um, I think this is supposed to be, well, maybe this is just someone's pad, uh, but there's like a little market at every hub that you could sell your wares at, and, uh, but, you know, honestly, uh, out of all the hubs, this is probably the least active and least developed one, um, which is one of the reasons I like it. Uh, each hub is, has got a theme to it, and this one is... Um, <laughs> what would you call it? Elvish, that's what it was. Uh, you know, kind of Lord of the Rings, Elvish, lots of uh, forest stuff. And, uh, you know, I haven't really followed that theme overly much, but uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of inspired a couple things. So, um, yeah, there you go. So each one has its own uh, theme. And as you can see, you know, there's a bunch of different uh, tunnels that lead off of here. 
Smelnik and Echoes, they're actually not too far away from where I am, even though I come off a different side. Oh, we have a Guardian farm. Um, every hub, for the most part, has its own like sets of farms, and so I think there's each one has a Guardian farm. Uh, this one isn't the most productive in the world. I, it probably needs a little bit of work, but it's nice to have it there. Um, but yeah, and then mine's over here. So if you come off the rail here and get off, if you just go straight left, here we go. And uh, as you can see, I'm not quite done with my tunnel yet. Some people's are already pretty well done. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, I haven't seen that one. Let's go check that one out real fast. Uh, Mata. Ooh. He's got his is done. Man, some people are just better at it than I am, I guess. But they were smart. They actually kept theirs short. Mine is really long. so. Uh, but you can kind of see the beginning of mine here. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. And going and going and go. Oh, look, it's a little uh, walkway that goes down to my next big project that I'll show you in just a minute. And going and going and going. And, okay, well, we're actually getting pretty close. But uh, so this is the design I'm started with. Uh, I've just got it, you know, the first part of it going here, but leaves. And I'll back this up with something right now. I think I'm either going to put glowstone or. Uh, one of those guardian lanterns. I gotta put the uh, the yeah. The, the, I think they're not guardian lanterns. Ah, these guys, <laughs> whatever they're called. Um, you know, I'll put those in there as well. But here, as you get down to the end here, I've got actually a really good little network of uh, portals that started up. Uh, Brand broad, which means burnt bread castle. Why why not? And uh, with my very first build was a prison because you know why not? And uh, oh. You didn't see that. Uh, so here, let's see, this is my very first portal here. Uh, there's nothing actually there. At some point, I'm going to build a village there. In fact, one of my um, projects I think I'll probably for sure be streaming on here or uh, recording is a uh, infinite village breeder uh, that I will put there before I start building the village. And uh, I'm going to show you these real fast. I don't think we're going to go into these first. We're going to do the base first, but. Uh, I've got a skelly spawner that's done, and um, I've got a spider spawner. It's kind of cool that these are as close as they are, and they actually function. Um, they're probably still, I don't know, 120 or so blocks apart, maybe, in the overworld, but those work really well. And I'll just show you this one real quick. And these are the clay mines, and so there's a mesa that uh, we get to, and it's pretty handy to come through the portals and get there. So, um, hello. Let's just... Go for a see you, buddy. Boom. All right. So let's go to where where our base is most mostly built right now. And how's this for a beautiful entry? Gorgeous, right? Actually, the reason that that's buried is you'll see this awesome mountain that I built this under. So there's going to be a big old giant castle here at some point, and uh, I uh, know that I'm going to have this big giant room in here hollowed out and so I would put that in there so that I could build uh, my nether stuff around that and not have to move it very much in the future and so as you can see I've got a lot of stuff that's under construction here and it doesn't look very good at the moment but that's okay but I did want to show you this and this is my Swago State Prison this is uh, actually an iron golem form that I decided to hide and uh, and I hid it in a prison I'll show you why when we go inside. And uh, that's my cow breeder. We'll see that in a second, too. But this is uh, my secret entrance on the side here. But uh, there you go. So you can see all the, the doors. And so this is the um, Iron Dawn farm in there. And tons and tons of these awesome villagers that are in here. And uh, what I ended up doing is I, devote, I divided it into quadrants, and so there's sort of four pieces. And to make sure that it works and keeps all the doors active, I uh, kind of trapped villagers in solitary confinement, one in each corner. So now that uh, they're sitting in here, they're making sure and keeping at least a quarter of these doors active. And then the other thing that happens too is if we get a, uh, a zombie horde in here and it kills a bunch of villagers, then... At least it's only doing it hopefully in a quadrant or maybe the most on one half. And then we can use um, villagers on the other side to get breeding again. 
and it works pretty well so far. So um, let's get through here. Hello, hello, Mr. Shepherd. I'm gonna need you for my village beater, so be careful. All right, ooh, fisherman, fisherman. You know the odd thing is I didn't get any farmers. I've got uh, enough for three iron golems in here. Actually, you know what? let me go show you that too. I got enough for three iron golems in here and not a single farmer. It's a little frustrating, but all right. So let me get make sure I get my jump boost. There we go, and I'll jump up here, and I'll show you guys this. And so this is, of course, the iron golem farm. It's a two-tier, uh, twenty by twenty. This is the way I did this one. Um, and you can see it's actually four by four is the size of the drop hole. And a lot of times I'll try and do it two by two, but in this case, just to simplify it, I kept it as four by four, and I'll show you why downstairs, if I can get off of here. And then these are my, of course, my guard towers. I really should put some villagers up there, but I haven't done that yet. Come on, get out, get out. Can I get out of here? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, no wonder this side's so much easier. I've got these uh, half slabs here. I didn't put them on the corners. Whoops. All right. So that's the gist of uh, <laughs> Swago State Prison. I'll, uh, let's get out of here, and I'll go show you around the outside real fast. I've got one other thing I'm going to show you over here before it gets dark. And we're going to have to rush, it looks like, a little bit. Ooh, let's go this way. Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'll tell you what, let's go in here real quick instead. So this is going to be my Nordic village here, kind of off, or uh, my, my Nordic home. Uh, there'll be these big tall peaks coming up here, it'll be down below. Oh, did you hear that? I'll show you that in a second too. That'll be down below the castle, And uh, but for now this is going to be my home. Oh no! And then this is my storage room. And uh, kind of the theory behind this guy is that I wanted to be able to uh, stand in one place. Oh, you get there and hit as many of these as I possibly could. And for the most part, it works pretty well. So that's pretty great. And uh, can I get that one? Oh, oh, oh. Gotta move this a little bit. Not too much. But I tell you what, let's go ahead and sleep off the night, and then we're going to head over to the other side of the prison here in a minute, and I'll show you what's going on over there. Nighty-night. And look at this beautiful sunset. <laughs> I would have uh, stayed in bed and just gone ahead and let it pop up, but uh, Jeff came on, so I had to wait out the night, unfortunately. And I've just been sitting here picking off uh, various... Ooh, creatures of the night. Let's see if I can hit this guy down here. Whoa, get him, get him. Oh, too far. Oh, oh wow. All right, well, I came over here because I wanted to show you guys this. It's my little uh, dinky little sheep farm. This is not necessarily particularly interesting, but uh, it's on the back side of the prison over there. Let's see if I can get back up here so you can see it again real quick. Yep, that's right up over there, and uh, so here we come on down. Ooh, but I did want to show you this, and plus I need to harvest, so uh, my quick sugarcane farm. And the reason I wanted to show you this, ooh, that's loud, is because I'm going to take you over to the first two farms that I've actually got here. Ooh. Well, I guess I wouldn't even call them farms necessarily. It's more uh, my villager trading post. So yeah, let's go over to check out the villager trading post. We'll get these guys. And I needed this to trade with them because we need some emeralds. Oh, great. I mean, the bad thing about this server, I will say, static if you're watching this, I hope there's a way that you can turn it off, is this rain. I was actually going to uh, start recording about 30 minutes before I did, but I had to wait for this freaking rain to get done. Um, but man, it slows everything down too. Oop, I need some food here. Alright. But this really actually has been an awesome server. In fact, uh, Jeff's on. Uh, he, he's uh, really active on here as well. 
and uh, they've all helped a lot, really. Uh, helped me get established on here and been really super friendly. It's been great. Uh, okay, so let's get this stuff out. Now I know you guys have seen people doing this probably dozens of times. But let's see here, how much paper do I have? Let's see how much, uh, I've got this guy here. So look at the, uh, we got Tommy Tito's here is a 24 paper trade, which is pretty good. And he's got the silk touch, and I know I want this right here, that looting three is what I really need. So, uh, let's see. How long before he stops trading? <sighs> of course. Oh, good, you can give it back. Alright. Sorry, that's a little bit loud in the background there. Uh, in fact, I'll show this to you. This is my auto version of this. And uh, the one here on the end doesn't seem to work. I think it's too long. It's 15 long. And so uh, uh, I could show you this whole thing. But basically, it's just a big auto harvester. And maybe I'll show it in detail one of these days. But uh, it's probably not that interesting for the most part. Uh, but it is handy. And... Um, but I realized that I w if I wanted to trade faster, I needed to uh, get that hand harvesting in here. So let's get... Hey, this guy's doing a pretty good job here. Although I'm not going to get nearly enough. Let's see here. So I got 17. Thank you. You going to trade? Look at this. He usually shuts down a lot faster than this, so this is kind of nice. Alright, so we got uh, everybody else in here is a 25 trade, which isn't that bad. So let's go ahead and use a couple of these guys. There we go. Alright, that might actually be enough. Hot dang. Alright, let's get that. Oop, I need my book. Let's get a book. Thank you. Let me put a book in here and 33 emeralds. I don't want silk touch. I want looting three. Sweet. And the reason I need that is I only. In fact, I'll just show you over here. Do I have anything I need? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I didn't even show you this. Sorry about that. I just walked up here like it was this part of the. Uh, the base because it is, but yeah, no, this is my hidden base entrance, so you click that button there, and uh, it's got uh, sticky pistons down below it, and here I'll watch it, you can see it pop up here, but it's got this uh, series of four sticky pistons, in fact, um, I have a tutorial on my channel about this, if you want to see it, and uh, I wanted to build it on here because this server really does lag a little bit sometimes, and uh, it seems to work just fine anyway. All right. I think for right now I'm going to go ahead and put my looting away. But the reason I wanted to show you this is because I've got a couple of wither skeletons and I need one more. So I needed to get that looting three so that I could get another one. Um, all right. What are we going to do next? Oh, let's go into the nether and I want to show you my next big farm that I'm going to build. And the reason I want to show it to you is uh, it's going to take me a long time to build it. And uh, I am going to probably end up doing a time lapse of a big chunk of it. And my next episode is going to be focused on it. So uh, to be clear about it, I think it's going to be a, a blaze farm. And I've built a lot of blaze farms over the over the years. And uh, I've typically kind of followed the you know, pretty standard model where you use lots of pistons, sticky pistons, and glass and repeaters. Ooh, okay, I got some. As I say, <laughs> I'm out of food, and uh, I didn't think I had any more, but I do. And so, uh, off kind of my main uh, path here, you can kind of see it down there. There's a path going down to it. It's right there. Um, so I, I've kind of followed that typical um, style over the years. And then um, just recently, I, on Hermitcraft Impulse, 
uh, the new member of Hermitcraft. What are these guys doing here? That's weird to see so many skeletons right there. Um, but Impulse, he kind of came up with a new style using these um, <laughs> uh, tripwire hooks and I'm sorry, I just I'm surprised to see this many skeletons right here. Tripwire hooks and um, oh, what do you call that stuff? <laughs> string. <laughs> sorry, uh, string from uh, spiders, of course. And so uh, I went and I got all the materials I need to make this bad boy, and it's going to be a heck of a build, I think. Um, but up here is the spawner. In fact, I'll even jump up here and show you real quick. And one of the things that I did is I actually took his um, his design and I modified it a little bit until one of the things I found out is on some one of, on some of the earlier spawners I built, uh, blaze spawners, I um, had figured out and learned that they were an 8x8. Eight eight. So based off of so right here is the spawner if you go down like three blocks it's right there but based off the northwest corner let's make sure I am northwest here no that's south northwest off the northwest corner you'd go four blocks in that direction and three blocks south and east and so you would end up with an 8 by 8 spawning pad and you'd build this style around it and uh, you'd end up with these odd numbers and it worked really well and it was efficient and at some point over I don't know, maybe it's 1.8, someplace in between. Um, it's actually a solid 9 by 9 now, and one of the things I did on here is I actually did this encasement around it. Actually, let's see if I could do it without breaking it. It's going to be right there, <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, all right. Let's see if I can get it. There it is. Oh, no, I don't have anything to fill it back in with. Let's, let's do this. Um... So it is a solid nine by nine now, and uh, I was really surprised actually. Yep, see that. Oh no. I might have to fill that in again. Um, so anyway, it is a solid nine by nine, and one of the ways I tested that is I uh, I did my nine by nine box around this thing, the solid box, and I took off a, a, a chunk of it just to see if they would start spawning and they did on all four sides and uh, that sort of surprised me and so one of the things I realized I had to do with this particular spawner is it's a little bigger than I'm used to uh, making and I ended up having to do really the exact same spawner that Impulse did I think uh, I, I was hoping to do a slightly different version but it's not going to work I don't think so I think I'm just going to stick with that particular style and we're going to see how it works and then I'll send it to him and uh, show him you know, here it is in our world and working, and we do actually have another blaze spawner right there, but I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't work very well. Um, it doesn't, there's no mechanics inside that really force the blaze to move down, and so um, it's pretty inefficient. You kind of have to wait there for a long time, and partly I've, I haven't been able to figure out how it works, to be honest with you. Um, it's got some stuff going on around the outside, but it doesn't have any pistons or anything inside, so um, I think it's really a kind of a passive blaze spawner, whereas this one's going to be much more active. I built this in our creative world, and man, this thing hauls. It does a really great job. Um, very efficient, and uh, I think we'll get a lot of use out of it. So um, I think that's what we're going to do in the next episode. I think I'm kind of out of time on this one for right now, but I just wanted to introduce you a little bit to the uh, the Swiggle Fault server and to... Uh, you know, let you see my, my nether hub and my connection, my nether tunnels, and to kind of show you this this blaze spawner, this badass blaze spawner. And uh, we will be building this in the next episode. I'll be doing a lot of uh, time lapse with it, and we'll get this thing working. And I'll also show you the uh, skelly spawner. I wanted to show you that in this episode, but I kind of ran out of time. But uh, I'm actually pretty proud of that one. It's working pretty efficiently. So uh, anyway, there you go. I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, come and check out this first episode of the Swego Falls server, and I'm hoping to have a lot more. So, uh, thank you very much. If uh, if you like it, subscribe, leave it. Thank you. Tweet me something, anything. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs>